and the trainers for uh, allowing me to have a great experience here at Baylor. And I pray that I have the blessing of my teammates and my coaches uh, as I move on to the NFL. Out. I certainly feel like he has. If I had to vote, it, I'd vote five times in a row for him. Do you think you've done what it takes to win it? Uh, I could be wrong, but I think Baylor won its first Heisman tonight. Congratulations to each of you. And now the moment we've been waiting for, it is my pleasure to announce that the 2011 winner of the Heisman Trophy is Robert Griffin III, RG3! It's just, it's all, it's all business now. We're Sean Jackson told us that he stood up in the locker room and lended his support to you in front of some teammates. Um, were you in the room? How did that make you feel? And um, uh, what do you make of that? Yeah, I mean, everybody was in the room. Uh, you know, like we said, he was just addressing the, you know, addressing the group, addressing a few um, out of the group. Uh, who those guys are, we don't really care. You know, we, uh, the thing that he stressed and that we are stressing is that we're focused on winning, focused on Tampa Bay. We need everybody focused on doing their job to the best of their ability. Look at the man in the mirror and say, what can I do to help this team win? 
and that, that'll help us not only win games, but it'll help us change the culture around here. Well, it looks like the Redskins are going to have to do without Robert Griffin III at least for a while. He got injured in the first quarter of today's game. Happened right here. Griffin with the ball on the bootleg, rolling right towards the sidelines. You see the defender there clip him. He throws it complete to Deshaun Jackson, but went down on the sideline and did not get back up. Look at the ankle as he's clipped by the defender, jumping over and turns the wrong way. Ouch. And well, tonight, RG3 is nursing his knee after going down after this weekend's victory against the Ravens, but he dusted himself off and could start next Sunday against the Browns. Here's your Redskins Minute. reconstruction that is insane and completely out of bounds for the head coach to treat the kid like that and again I don't know this thing starting to feel like a cesspool to me like I don't trust him to trust him to trust him it's like nobody trusts anybody so and, and even Shannon's remarks and I don't know what to read into him it just seems like he's never all in on RG3 like saw you obviously was the end of last season and we heard you on Sports Center last night say you'd still like to help a team this right. season. What do you think you could bring at this point in the year? I think this late in the season, you know, you're looking at teams that are in playoff contention that uh, some teams have some guys get banged up and uh, you know, Philly in particular lost their quarterback and they might need to solidify that backup spot right now. I don't think I'm in a position to come in right away and, and start for a playoff team next week just because you need to get in, get, get used to the guys, get used to the offense. But as far as coming in and providing some stability uh, at the backup positions, and if the starter does go down, I think I can definitely do that. I'm prepared, I've been throwing, I've been working out, keeping my mind sharp, watching the game. So from that standpoint, I think I can, I can help. Fair enough. 